Today, I'm sharing how we organized a nursery cart for my sister who is expecting. I had so much fun putting this together. It was, in my opinion, a great gift idea for an organization lover like myself to arrange. Everything that was used for this cart will be linked in the description box below. The cart that was used is a utility cart which was from Ikea, however a few others are linked below if going to Ikea or ordering one from them online is not an option. I have used these carts below for other organizing projects and am a big fan. They're sturdy, have a slick modern look, and they do come with an Allen wrench which means they're easy to put together. They do currently come in two other colorways, black and red. This particular cart has two shallow shelves and one deeper shelf on the bottom. Another great feature about this cart is how lightweight and compact it is. If it needs to be moved up or down the stairs, the handles make it easy to grab and go. Buying items for this cart was an adventure in itself. There are so many neat items out there these days to choose from. This is the basket of items that I picked up, a few of which were on her registry. This includes burp cloths, and they came rolled up like this, very cute. Onesies, this is the newborn size and they are quite small. It came with a pack of eight. In hindsight, I should have ordered the zero to three month size. More burp cloths, flannel ones. These ones were on her registry and I actually thought they were blankets. A nose Frida, AKA a snot sucker, AKA a nasal aspirator. Saline mist, saline spray, gripe water, nail clippers, these ones light up. Pacifiers, I realized after the fact that these are for three to six month olds. Baby lotion, baby powder, scub organizers, these can be used a hundred different ways. They are so useful. A dimmable light, a clear acrylic container, a clear acrylic divided container, baby wipes, and diapers. The purpose of this cart is to serve as a grab and go station that can be kept in the bedroom while the baby is young. As a new mom, this may or may not be my sister's go-to in the middle of the night. I wanted to make the top shelf an easy grab and go area the top and middle shelves aren't very deep, which will make it easy to set things on there like a book or a phone while she's caring for the baby in the middle of the night or during the day. A divided container was added to the top shelf to store the smaller items. I had one heck of a time removing the barcode sticker on this one. A combination of using a thumb scraper, goo gone, and an alcohol wipe eventually removed the residue, but my oh my, it wasn't any fun. This is a regular issue that I run into with just about any acrylic organizing product, unfortunately. So once that hurdle was jumped, the divided container was filled up. One section has the little remedies items, which include the saline spray, saline nasal mist, and gripe water. The next section has the nasal aspirator along with extra disposable filters. This is apparently a baby registry essential. The third section has a little bottle of baby lotion along with the light up nail clippers and the tiniest nail file that has ever existed. And the last section has a few pacifiers, which I left in their original packaging, especially since these ones won't be needed for a newborn. The other item that was added to the top shelf was a touch tap light for her to use in the middle of the night to avoid having to turn on any overhead lights or lamps. It's wireless and comes with a cord for recharging. Tapping the top of the light turns it on and off and holding your finger on the top will adjust the light's brightness. It will then save that level of brightness the next time it is turned on. There was a good amount of space left over on the top shelf which can act as a drop zone for a book or a cell phone or who knows, maybe a dirty diaper. This also gives her the option to add larger items such as a pump or a wipe warmer down the road should she want to do so. The second shelf has a grab and go diaper changing kit along with a few dividers and this soft items. The diaper changing kit is an acrylic container with some diapers, wipes, and baby powder to start. I'm assuming she and her husband will add to this as they see fit. 
The container is sturdy and can be easily removed from the cart and taken into whatever room is necessary for a quick diaper change. IKEA also sells these scub containers which can be used a hundred different ways. There is a zipper on the bottom that zips them into place making them collapsible and they just so happen to fit perfectly on the shelves of this cart. The first small container stores rolled up burp cloths while the second small container which is located directly behind is meant for blankets or in this case more burp cloths. The medium container next to them has a handful of plain white onesies that are clean and ready to go. The bottom shelf stores excess diapers and wipes. A large scub container was used to corral some of the diapers and the medium container next to it has packages of wipes. I do realize that these diapers will last maybe a week, two at the most. I did add one last item at the end, which is the bobby pillow. Since she will more than likely use this as a nursing station, this guy is going to be the MVP. It is huge though. These are so versatile, I've mainly seen them used for feeding to both lift the baby and provide relief to your arms. However, according to the advertisement, it is also great for when the baby is a few months old, propping the baby up, practicing tummy time, and eventually sitting. This comes with just the pillow itself, so I picked up this minky gender neutral cover to go with it which just sips right on. This thing could also double as the world's largest and most uncomfortable neck pillow. Try using this thing as a neck pillow on an airplane. I temporarily set it on the top shelf for starters, however I'm sure it won't stay there long term and will eventually find its home on her rocker or nearby. The burp cloths came with a fabric ribbon which I tied on one of the cart handles to dress it up since it is a gift. Circling back to the bottom shelf, I didn't love the way the diapers looked and there were some leftovers, so I removed the large scub container. I was able to fit more diapers without it and I think it looks a little better too. Last but not least, let's talk labels. I can't do any project without adding a little label here and there. One was added to the diaper changing caddy which reads diaper kit. I used the Brother P-Touch labeler which is operated with my phone and then printed wirelessly to the printer. It is one of my favorite and most convenient labelers. This was my first time putting together a nursery cart. I would love to know what products you recommend adding or leaving out and if putting together a nursery cart is something that you did or plan on doing.